Praise the Lord. What a wonderful occasion again for us to pray for the nations. My name is Pastor Bumi Tokom from NICC. This is the platform where we've been praying for the nations for quite a few months now, and the Lord is doing amazing things. Now, I'd like you to share this with your family and friends so that they can also join us. So we want to thank God for those joining us from South Africa today, Zimbabwe, Congo, Netherlands, the UK, where we're broadcasting from, the United States, Canada, those joining us from Yemen, from Iran, Iraq, Vietnam, Cambodia. Thank you for joining us from Singapore, from Sierra Leone, from China. It's good to have you along from Vietnam. It's good to have you. Thank you so much from different nations around the world. It's good, to, it's good for us to pray together and lift up our voices together to the Lord because God rules in the affairs of men, we're told in the book of Daniel, and that it's very, very true. Praise God. So we've been looking at the coronavirus epidemic and we're taking a break from praying about the sustainable development goals which we're going to go back to <laughs> in the next few days but we just thought let's let's pray about this for a couple of days or so now currently at the time of looking at this covid19 in september 2020 on the 5th this were the figures 26 million people plus have been infected by coronavirus around the world and 18 million of them have recovered. And those who have died is above 800,000. Like I said in my previous videos, that figure could be worse. But God has worked a miracle and has kept us safe in the name of Jesus. So I'd like us to pray today from Romans chapter 8. Because I want us to pray about three major issues that concerns us in this season. Romans chapter 8, we are going to pray from verses, uh, verses 26 to, to 28, right there. It says, are you there? Romans chapter 8. Let me give you a moment to get to your Bible passage. Okay, looks like you're there already. Perhaps you're using a device, so that makes it quicker. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans or through wordless groans, and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with God's will or in accordance with the will of God. Verse 28 is where we're going to pray. It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now, in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now, I want us to think about this. Do you know that somewhere along the line through, through this process, season of coronavirus pandemic, God has been working some things out for your good. God is using it. God didn't bring coronavirus, but God is using the season, is using the coronavirus pandemic period to work things out for your good because you are called according to God's purpose. You are called according to God's plan. So I want us to pray first for the church. I want us to pray for, for us as church. Lord, what you have worked in us, what you have worked for us, Lord, because some churches have experienced growth in this season. Yeah, yeah, very true. Some churches have experienced enormous amount of grow, growth in this season. Some churches have experienced some connections that could not have existed without coronavirus. <laughs> you know, you know, praise the Lord. I, by God's grace, I'm going to be speaking to a group of leaders in Pakistan um, at the end of this month, 
first week in October, depending on when you're watching this, first week in October, because it's one of the things that God has done for us as a church where we can take the, the, the ministry, the NICC ministry, to more nations than we had access to before coronavirus started. You know, so in your church, right, I know that some churches... Um, had a little bit of a dip in terms of the finance and I know because I'm going to show you our own budget shortfall in a moment but that's not the only thing there's some very good things that is happening right even the shortfall is good because it allows us to reach out to people we otherwise will not reach out to and th because they're going to give they also are going to be blessed so even that's good God we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Because we're doing the will of God, because we love God, God is working things out for our good. I want us to thank God for what he has worked for the various churches around the world. Like I said, some churches are experiencing supernatural growth. I know of a church who has more or less tripled <laughs> in this season. They've tripled in this season. Can you believe that? Can you believe a church going triple? Yeah. They've tripled in this season in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Some churches are reaching more people than they've ever reached before, Father. We just give you praise for what you're doing. Some churches have more finance now than they did before coronavirus. Some churches have saved more money. Uh, do you know that? Some churches have saved more money in this season than they've ever done. Father, I give you praise. Some churches are moving into new buildings in this season. Some churches are now buying their own building in this season. Lord, I give you praise for what you have done in the body of Christ. Father, we give you praise. Some, some churches, some members of some churches have had more well-paying jobs in this season. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for we know that in all things in this season of the corona pandemic, God is working for the good of those who love him. So, Father, I give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise today. We give you praise today. We welcome the good things that you're doing. The Bible tells us that Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Oh, comes from above, uh, from the Father of heavenly light, in whom there is no variance or shadow. God is giving us good things in this season. Good things are happening to us as a church. Good things are happening in God's kingdom. There is more, oh my goodness, thank you Lord. There is more of God's word being preached on the internet in this season than and has it ever been? <laughs> Woo! There are more people accessing God's word. There are more unbelievers hearing God's word on the internet than they've ever done before in the name of Jesus. There are more people seeking God in this season than has happened before. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord, because of the great things you have done for us. Oh, we give you praise. <laughs> we give you praise. We're excited about the things that you have done. There are more churches who are able to give now because they've saved so much money. My God, I give you praise. Thank you for lives that have been to them more churches who are engaged in community projects right now. Yes, there are more churches engaged in helping their neighborhood right now than have ever had than that have ever happened before. Why? Because God is causing all things to work together for our good. Even neighbors around church locations are enjoying the believers more than they've ever done before. What an awesome situation. What an awesome thing that God has done for us in this season. Hallelujah. 
My goodness. We just think about all the variety of things. There are more. Oh, I can't stop praying now. There are more. There are more churches who have learned about social media. They were in social media darkness, but now they're in social media light. Can you believe that? There are more skills. People have gained more skills. Church members have gained more skills in this season than they've ever gained before because they're now involved in releasing their, their ministry videos online. They've learned so much. Father, I give you praise. My goodness, because those skills are transferable into other jobs and other careers that they're going to embark on. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. People, oh, 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 oh. People have become more confident standing in front of the camera <laughs> than has ever happened before because they didn't have to do that. At least even if they did, it was in a recording. But now people have to go live on Facebook, live on Zoom, live on YouTube, live on various social media platforms. That means that Lord confidence has come on many, many people around the world. It's not only to the West. It's not only in Asia. It's in Africa. It's in North America. It's in South America. Lord, God has touched the church all over the world in Jesus' name. Oh, my, 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 my. There are more churches working together. There are more churches working together in this season than had ever happened before the coronavirus. God is causing all things to work together for your good because you love him and are called according to to his purpose. My goodness, there are <laughs> there are more churches starting new services than have ever happened before. Hallelujah. There are, more, there are more ministries online that are servicing churches right now than have than has ever happened before. Before, if you wanted to learn about Facebook, you could only go to somebody who was not really promoting the gospel because promoting the gospel has its own peculiarities. Now you have ministries who are instructing us on how to promote the gospel online by using Facebook and all the other social media platforms. What an amazing thing. There are more ministry support. <laughs> There's more ministry support right now than has ever Ever. Oh my, my, my God. There's more ministry support than has ever taken place online before the coronavirus pandemic. My goodness, God is making all things work together for the good of the church. Hallelujah. Oh, oh glory. Oh my, oh my goodness. My mind, there are more friendships being made across the world amongst believers than has ever taken place before. Lord, I thank you that the believer is now open to more of God's good word than has ever happened before. The believer can now can now feast on God's word than as ever taken place before. Lord, I just give you praise for that. I give you I give you praise for that. There are more believers who are confident about who they are in God than has ever taken place before the coronavirus to happen. Lord, I thank you because of the many believers that will be able to to uh, uh, repurpose their skills into different careers because of the work they have done behind the scenes. My God, I give you praise. God causes all things to work together for our good because we love him and we are called according to his purpose. Whew, what an amazing stuff. What an amazing thing that the Lord has done. The Lord took the coronavirus pandemic and used it. You know what? You know, during the time of famine, during the time of uh, David, uh, I said David, during the time of, yeah, there was famine in David's time, but during the time of Joseph, the Bible tells us that Joseph was sold into slavery and Joseph must have thought, you know what, what did I do? Did I really deserve this? But God used it 
to prepare Joseph, to place Joseph in the highest position at the time. It was next to Pharaoh. In fact, the verse says there, he was a god unto Pharaoh. That means that whatever Joseph said went, even though Pharaoh was there as the figurehead, but Joseph was the one ruling the, ruling the country. Can you believe that? A, a, a foreigner ruling the country? And God used that to preserve the, the household of Jacob, with who then brought us our Lord Jesus Christ. But the point I'm making to you is God is making everything work together for your good. God is causing all things to work together. I want you to look out for the opportunities that God has opened for you as a ministry. I want you to look at that opportunity and, and just thank God for it. Just thank God in this season in the name of Jesus. You know what? More people have had to depend on God this season. They, they realize that, okay, I may be wearing a mask, but I don't think it works. I may be, you know, I may be washing my hands 10 times a day, but I don't think it works. I need to trust God. So more people, more believers have trusted God for their health this season. Oh, what an amazing position the Lord has worked out for you and me in the name of Jesus. My goodness, I can go on. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to stop on that one. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that all things work together for your good because you love God and you are called according to his purpose. Praise the Lord. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Come on. Let's carry this into, into our Sunday meetings. On Sundays, we've been teaching about this. Discover, develop, and deploy your natural gifts, your abilities, your spiritual gifts, your skills for maximum impact. It's on Sundays at 12.30 GMT until 2 p.m. Do join us for that. Thank you. Of course, for joining us today. What an awesome time we've had in prayer. Just looking at what God has done for us as believers for the kingdom, for his kingdom. Like I said in the prayer, I'm talking about our own shortfall, our budget shortfall, which is about 30,500. And we're gonna be updating this as the giving comes in. Our account number, which you can be a blessing to us on, is 83693740, SOC code 208915. And you can give by PayPal, which is paypal.me forward slash NICC given. And if you want to be a blessing to me financially, you can also be so if you want to. It's um, paypal.me forward slash Pastor Bumi Token. Now, Jesus is Lord, right? Jesus is Lord of everything. The Bible tells us that. God sent Jesus. The reason why Jesus is Lord is because God sent him to die for us on the cross so that through his death and resurrection, we can connect back to God and walk in his purpose, his plan, and his power. All you need to do to have Jesus being Lord over your life is for you to receive him. And as you receive him, you accept his finished work into your life. And so you become a child of God, child born, not of a natural decision or a husband's will, but born of the Spirit. We're back again tomorrow as we pray. Uh, for prayers for the nation, depending on when you're, when you're tuned into this. Uh, we pray Mondays to Saturdays for prayers for the nations. But we're on Facebook every day, so do join us to pray some more. But remember, as I said to you, that God causes all things to work together for your good. This is your own season to prosper. Yes, indeed. It is your own season to prosper. We'll see you again as we pray for the nations. God bless.